Ahoy Seafarers, Eric here on Cruising with Cheryl and Eric. Welcome back and good morning. Today we got a bunch of news to discuss from Ponant giving out excursions like they're going out of style to the launch of a new luxury cruise line to new delectable food delights on Princess. If you're looking for the freshest, funniest, and oh so, so, oh so sarcastic updates, you sail to the right port. Let's begin. <music> First up, let's talk about the Très Chic French-owned Ponant Cruise Line. All right, Ilya, really? Sorry about that, folks. In 2024, uh, Ponant is offering excursions, a free excursion per port for each passenger included in, in the cruise fare. That's, that's across all 17 of their itineraries and 32 departures. Just remember, you got to pre-book two months ahead. But if you're ex the extravagant type, there's always the option for other excursions to flaunt your francs. <clears throat> Speaking of flaunting, Explorer Journeys just made a big splash in the Big Apple with Explorer One, their first cruise ship, first luxury cruise ship. They're owned by the MSC Group, which is, and this is just the first of their six lavish cruise ships setting sail between uh, 2024 and 2028. And oh boy, they're going all echo with liquid natural gas and hydrogen powered ships. Explorer will start their sailing in 2024 out of Canada or out of New York, sailing to Canada in New England, and then they're going to move down south and spend the winter in the Caribbean. If you're looking for the next level of cruising and sheer opulence, then you need to check out this cruise line. I'm waiting for Ilio to wag his tail in my face again. Okay, this time he wants to rub my beard. Next up, Grand Turk, what happened? You're no longer in the top 10 Caribbean hotspots. Guess say it's due to the lack of onshore activities and uh, uh, available excursions. But hey, Carnival, they're still loyal. They're planning on bringing in uh, 1.1 million visitors into 2024. Don't worry, Turk, Eric's got your back. Grand Turk is definitely still in my top 10. To me, Pillory Beach and the Eastside Beach are still two of my favorite beaches in the world. They're absolutely gorgeous. Anyone getting hungry out there? I know I am. Well, I'm kind of always hungry. Um, Princess, sure hoping so. They're really revealing 11, count 11 elevated dining experiences on their ship, new ship, the Sun Princess, uh, which will be set in sail in early 2024 with the Horizons main dining room that's so tall it might touch the sky, to the Uma Ume Tepinyaki, ready to tease those taste buds. And for the royals among us, there's the signature restaurant and lounge, which are only accessible to sweet guests. Just thinking about this, this new ship's making me hungry. What are you looking at? Are you looking at the camera now? Last but certainly not least, Celebrity Cruises is rolling out the red car carpet to their Zenith members. Yes, I'm talking to the cream of the crop. You'll once again have access to the Retreat Lounge. And if it's crowded in there, fear not. They've got auxiliary spaces. They're getting ready just for the, uh, the Zenith members. Nothing but the best for the best, right? And that, my dear sailors, wraps up today's Oceans of Updates. Till our next voyage, keep those deck shoes stylish and anchors away. Have a good one.